girls who were right beside me, y'all, some of the girls y'all stand, we was all in the same room. Zendaya finally spoke about Disney's new live action movie, The Little Mermaid. She has a love for Halle Bailey and support for her new film. She revealed the hidden truth of how Disney exploits black actresses. She appears to still be furious at Disney for how they treat black actresses. Zendaya, drawing from her own experience as a young Disney star, has recently shed light on how Disney utilized and manipulated Halle Bailey. In this video, we'll uncover how Disney has a colorism problem and mistreats black women. Such an important topic, I feel like, especially because people who do look up to me, they have the same struggles as well. Um, but for me, working in the industry at such a young age, I went through so many stylists, even on Jesse. Um, and you know, not everyone knew, they knew how to do everyone else's hair, but not mine. Another black- In the past, Zendaya has faced many hurtful instances of racially insensitive behavior from people on set. I didn't like my hair and make up. One time on a photo shoot and my publicist told me you should just be happy with it. They haven't had a black girl on the cover since forever. She's no longer my publicist. Zendaya not only experienced racial insensitivity, but she also had to deal with many other problems. She faced manipulation from Disney, which she has openly talked about. This manipulation came in the form of contracts and obligations imposed on her. She told about how careful she is in reading contracts, she doesn't trust a lawyer or anyone, and she even writes in a notebook to understand everything. So one thing she made clear is reading the contract and documents completely. They can be a trap or a bad situation for someone. Zendaya gained rapid popularity through her role as Rocky Blue in the Disney Channel series Shake It Up. The show aired from 2010 to 2013 and followed the lives of two best friends, Zendaya and Bella Thorne, who pursue their dreams of becoming professional dancers on a local television show called Shake It Up Chicago. The show in the beginning was great, but later on, Zendaya felt what Disney wanted. They told Bella to compete with her. Zendaya faced undervalue and she decided to fight for her. Zendaya, in an interview with Vogue, revealed that she refused to conform to Disney's demands. She realized it was foolish to lose herself in the process. Zendaya also noticed the lack of black representation on the Disney Channel. At just 16 years old, she took matters into her own hands and met with Disney executives, demanding that her show, Casey Undercover, should focus on a family of color and diversity. Slowly, I realized that was stupid. People think I'm cool when I'm Zendaya, Zendaya told to Vogue. Zendaya has openly discussed feeling undervalued by organizations like Disney. She advised against settling for less than what one deserves. Fans speculated that this was directed towards Disney as she fought for creative control on the show Casey Undercover. In one of her interviews, Zendaya mentioned her experience and perspective on the matter. In 2019, there was a big controversy when Disney announced that a young black woman would star in the live action remake of The Little Mermaid. Many people speculated that Zendaya would play the lead role, but she has denied these rumors. Zendaya recently spoke out, revealing how Disney used and manipulated Halle Bailey at the beginning of the casting process. The announcement faced backlash, and Disney did not mention any specific name in their statement. Now the movie has finally been released. Before its release, there was a lot of controversy on social media about casting Halle Bailey as Princess Ariel. People flooded Twitter with racist and disgusting comments about Halle using the hashtag NotMyAriel. After the movie came out, these individuals posted negative reviews on websites like IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. IMDb even acknowledged unusual voting activity for the movie. Coco Jones, another black actress, felt disappointed by Disney. She spoke openly about the ongoing struggle of being removed from the show, but that wasn't her only challenge. As a child actor on Disney sets, she faced the additional burden of being overworked. She would spend over 15 hours every day on set. It just feels like a lot of growth. I mean, I'm grateful for my Disney past. I, I love it. It's made yes. me who I am. Yeah. And then I feel like I kind of have a leg up because I know how it goes in this industry. And I've been on sets for 15 hours since I was a kid. So it's nothing new to me, the hustle um, and just how the industry moves. So I'm grateful for that. Mm -hmm. um, she gained recognition in Disney's 2012 film, Let It Shine, which became a popular Disney Channel movie that year. Have you seen the movie yet? Uh, yeah, like 12 times. Good for you. 
you. Good for you. Yeah. Is there one scene that stands out that you're really excited for viewers to see? I think I'm really excited for everybody to see. Of course, the finale scene with all that energy. I hope it makes everybody smile and make them really want to let their light shine. Inside. Fans anticipated a sequel, but Disney unexpectedly decided to cancel it. In a video on her YouTube channel, Coco revealed that the sequel, Let It Shine, had already been written before Disney scrapped it. This sudden change took away her entire fan base and left her feeling let down. Over the years, much speculation has suggested that Disney treated Coco unfairly due to their significant problem with dark-skinned actresses. During an interview with Chris Spencer, Raven Simone hinted at a concerning incident with Disney. She mentioned that Disney asked her to tan her skin to appear darker for her role on That's So Raven. This implies that Disney would pressure an actress with a lighter skin tone to change their appearance, but they would not cast someone who already had naturally dark skin. We still can't believe she had to tan her skin to stay on the show. Isn't it horrifying? There is also the case of Kiki Palmer, who came close to becoming a Disney star, but was ultimately overlooked as Disney chose to pick up Miley Cyrus's show, Hannah Montana, instead in August 2020. Kiki also posted unseen clips from the pilot of Kiki and Jamal. Funny how Hannah Montana had the same premise as this show, but Kiki and Jamal never got picked up one. One fan said, Kiki and Jamal had so much potential, but Disney Channel can't stand to see too many shows his black stars on TV. Now coming back to Zendaya, Zendaya is now more confident about her looks, and in her interview with Vanity Fair, she said she is practicing self-love. Zendaya shared an Instagram story to support Halle Bailey for her new movie, but some resources close to her revealed that she still feels that Disney exploits the black actress. Some fans want Disney to create original movies for black actresses instead of recycling old characters. However, many fans think that Disney uses black actresses to create controversy. Obviously, more controversy generates hype, and more hype generate more sale. That's all they just care about money. Do you feel the same? And Disney has a racism problem? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to the channel to learn more about such facts.